my name is Layla, and today you are packing with me to go to the Game Developers Conference in San Francisco. I feel like one of the most important tips that I can leave for someone who's never packed to go to San Francisco before is, um, for example, this is what I'm wearing right now in sunny Los Angeles. I'm inside, I'm wearing a t-shirt, Ubisoft San Francisco, and these nice little shorts. Um, don't do that in San Francisco. <laughs> Even though it's, you know, not very far from Los Angeles, the vibe for San Francisco is always layers. Oh, we're gonna pack for the five days of the conference. I am gonna be packing by outfits, which is not something I normally do, but I'm really determined to kind of make like a statement every day that I'm at GDC. I think that if people do wanna dress up or if they like dressing up, it can be fun and kind of a challenge to dress up. And one of the things I've been trying to do more this year is kind of get out of my comfort zone in terms of the way that I'm dressing. And so I thought this would be a nice, fun, easy challenge to blend like game developer chic versus, you know, like fun and funky fashion. So let's go, let's go into my closet and figure out how we want to dress at GDC. Woo Transition. Ta-da! I have assembled uh, the beginnings of my outfits. So let me walk you through my thoughts. Okay, I lowered the camera so that you could see what's on the bed and I will have to be like crouching like this the whole time, but that's fine. Maybe I'll just scooch down here. Okay, so what I have um, built is like a build your own outfit station. Um, the thing that I said and that I'm sticking with that's important to remember is layers in San Francisco. So it's probably gonna be cold in the morning and then it's gonna be warm around lunch, especially when you're sitting around your Babuena Gardens and then it's gonna get cold at night. So what I have, I have mostly long pants here. I have a handful of long sleeve top options. Then I have a handful of short sleeve and even sleeveless tops. Because again, the sweater goes a long way. And then I have my collection of sweaters here, plus a dress that I'm thinking of bringing. Um, I am mostly wearing pants. I'm not really a big skirt girl. All the dresses I have are very Los Angeles. Um, but I thought this was a good like professional dress. Um, I can wear tights if it gets cold. I have this really nice long cardigan if I want, or I have the option of my two other jackets. I have this incredible Just Dance jean jacket that I got from UB San Francisco, shout out. Um, and then this is my Tommy Hilfiger fleece that I got on sale at Macy's. Um, and then just to like fit in a little bit with the gamer crowd, I am bringing my Ubisoft San Francisco dev um, sweater. So, you know, that's always a good option. Um, I think I have a good collection. I'm gonna try and assemble my outfits and then we'll check back in and see. And hopefully the framing will not force me to do this. Packing with outfits, hard. I still ended up bringing like way more tops than the bottoms and they're not all assigned one to one, but I'm basically gonna walk you through all the outfits I have. I also rejected some clothes in the end. Um, I'm not gonna bring the big cardigan. I feel like between the hoodie, the fleece and the jean jacket, I basically have a jacket for every occasion. But one thing I'm not bringing personally, but I would recommend if you're not weird like me is um, I don't bring umbrellas and I don't really bring rain clothes to San Francisco, even though it does rain pretty frequently. Um, and the reason I don't do that is just because I grew up around Northern France and Belgium and similar to people who grew up in the Pacific Northwest. Um, that's a sign of weakness. So um, hopefully it won't rain. I will look at the weather. You'll see it right here. Ooh, this is the weather forecast for the week of GDC. Hopefully no rain in sight. Um, I'm gonna look so silly if it does rain, but that's okay, I will take that risk. So those are all the outerwear that I'm bringing. I did end up with like four different bottoms and one, two, three, four, five, six top combinations, plus my beautiful um, Ubisoft crew neck that I got the very first year I started working there. I love it. I'll show you the details, it's adorable. But we'll walk through the outfits really quick. So this first one is probably my most casual. It is um, jeans and a t-shirt basically, but the t-shirts are kind of where I'm playing and having fun with it. So the jeans are these really beautiful jeans from Target. They're embroidered with little flowers, which I love. This Evie shirt is from Box Lunch. Um, I am a big fan of 
Eevee and Pokemon, and I think this is like, you know, nerdy chic. That second shirt, the stripy one, that was on the sale rack at Urban Outfitters. Um, I always shop sales. Uh, and it's got an open back, which I think makes it kind of fun and not your average jeans and t-shirt. And then this third really cool shirt is actually a, a tank top. Oh, an asymmetrical tank top that my very good friend, uh, Monica made for me for my birthday. The second outfit is my white pants from Big Bud Press, um, which I really love that brand. Highly recommend. Again, sales section only. Um, and actually this first top that I have for it is um, a sleeveless turtleneck tank top, also from Big Bud Press that I just got really recently. I think the clothes go really well together. The second outfit option I have is actually the only purple shirt that I own. Um, I need to wear a purple shirt for one of the events that I'm going to. I don't need to, but it's fun to do that. And that's the only purple shirt I have, so that's probably what we'll wear it with. The third outfit is kind of like my really stepping out of my comfort zone outfit. These pants are one of my favorite pants I've ever bought. They're from Find Me Now, the label, um, again on sale. And uh, they're kind of hard to style, you know, it's pretty bold to have this. So what I ended up getting is one of those shirts that's also like a baby yarn or whatever they're called. Do you know what I mean? Like they're the shirts that clip, you know, like they're always tucked in because they're literally clipped. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know how to describe the shirt. I'm sure someone will understand. That's what we have going for it. As a second option, in case that doesn't work or in case I need long sleeves because that first shirt is short sleeves, I have this really nice little long sleeve sweater. Same thing, it's a little crop, which I think works better with the more high-waisted pants. And I think the black is just the easiest to match with this um, very out there pattern. This fourth look that I'm going with is more of like the casual, you know, we work in an industry where there's no dress code vibe. Um, it's like really, a really nice pair of sweatpants that I got on sale from Aviator Nation. And then the top I think is just a Target top. Again, this can kind of mix and match with some of the other tank tops or t-shirts that I have. Um, you could throw the Ubisoft sweater onto there, but that's gonna be maybe for like my Friday, just kind of relaxing. And then the dress is that last top. Stuff that I ended up rejecting, my jeggings. Um, there's nothing wrong with them. I just, I felt like they weren't really in the spirit of pushing my fashion sense because I wear these a lot. Um, I used to wear jeggings and a t-shirt everywhere. So that felt not really like the spirit of the challenge. And then these two I'm rejecting mostly just for space, but this is my Cal Marginalized Genders in Gaming shirt, um, CMGG, which is an organization that I actually helped found at UC Berkeley. Um, we had like our two wonderful founders and then I was a part of that first board. It's about empowering marginalized genders in gaming, which obviously I love that message. I've been mentoring for them uh, ever since I graduated. One of my mentees from that organization actually just recently got a production job, which I'm so happy for her. I might still bring it because I am going to a panel run by this organization. So we'll see, maybe I'll pander to the audience. Very similar thing, this is my Cal Esports shirt, but this is the Cal Women in Gaming Esports shirt. So we started off as Women in Gaming, obviously realized we could be even more inclusive uh, if they swapped it to Cal Marginalized Genders in Gaming, which is a change that they made after I graduated, which I think is really cool. But yeah, same reason, like I don't think I'm gonna bring it. Um, it's, it's just about having enough space more or less, but We'll see, maybe I'll sneak it into my duffel bag. And here she is, the duffel bag in question. Everybody clap for this Hello Kitty duffel bag. I got this for Christmas from my parents and it's like one of my favorite things. I'm a big Hello Kitty fan. Um, so yeah, we're gonna shove all that in there and then we're gonna get some toiletries going and um, some shoes and that's everything I'm packing for GDC. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more GDC videos if I can. I'm hoping to do maybe a couple of daily vlogs, maybe some fashion of GDC. So please make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you wanna see more of this GDC stuff. And in general, I wanna do more lifestyle gaming content kind of mixed. Obviously, if you look through the channel, there's a lot of my streaming work, um, but I wanna do, I, I really wanna do a blend of content. So give this video a like, make sure you're subscribed, and I will see you all in San Francisco for GDC. Bye!